Hey guys, today's from the install bay. We're gonna show you how to test the factory amplifier to see if it has a variable voltage output. So you have a factory radio, it has a factory amplifier. You want to integrate into these because you want to put in amplifiers, speakers, and all this fun stuff. So there's several ways to integrate into the factory amplifier. Summing devices, like these. But not all factory amplifiers need a summing device. Some factory amplifiers, usually late model, they have an actual line output going from the radio into the amplifier that's variable with the volume knob. We're going to show you how to test your amplifier to see if it's one of those types. We'll show you how to use a voltmeter, and we'll show you how to use an RTA so you can actually see it. If it is, all you have to do is solder on some RCAs. So let's get to it. We have these four big black wires here. Those are the wires that were coming from the radio. So what we want to do now is plug our RTA into them and see what it does. Now we've gone ahead and put a pink noise CD and put it on repeat so that we can get a constant voltage signal output which is what we're looking at right here. Now what we want to do is see if it fluctuates with the volume knob. This is crucial. Some older cars it did, but what the manufacturers of the vehicle started doing is using data so that the radi radio's volume knob was actually built into the amplifier. And as you turned up and down the volume on the radio, it was actually adjusting the voltage at the amplifier and not the radio's output voltage. So what we want to do is test that. So, we're turning the volume down, we're turning the volume up, and it's actually showing us a difference. So that means that this is a regular line level output like you would have on a standard deck. So while I was in the car, I did a really poor job of actually showing you how to use the voltmeter. So what we have here is the RTA and the voltmeter. We have them both hooked up. We have the red going to positive, the black going to negative, and then this is hooked up the exact same way. So in the RTA, this gives us a graphical representation of the signal, as well as up here, it gives us the output voltage. Now that is going to be the same experience that we get on the digital multimeter. However, a digital multimeter is a lot more reasonable and will do the job just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to play our pink noise on our radio. We're going to set the digital multimeter to V with the squiggly line. The squiggly line is AC current. We'll go ahead and do that. Now we're going to start to turn up the volume. And as you can see, they're both turning up the same. So in this instance, we have a 2 volt output. And over here, we have that same 2 volt output. And with this install, this is what we're looking for. As we turn the volume up and down, the signal goes up and down. Now we can also use the voltmeter to figure out, as well as the RTA, we can use them both to figure out what is left and what is right and what is front and what is rear by simply connecting either one of them up to a set of wires and then working the balance and fader until we see voltage or don't see voltage. Then we can write down those colors and we'll know which one is which. Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, testing is what it's all about. You want to know what you're getting into before you get into it. So this is a nice test that you can do on any situation where you're going to be adding an aftermarket amplifier to an existing factory amplifier and where you should tie in for it. Alright guys, as usual, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and right here on YouTube. You guys have a great night. Oh yeah, by the way, please subscribe. Fernando really loves it. Wave. Hello. Alright guys, we'll see you later next time. Bye! Mmm. Trail mix. Yummy. Yeah,